G'day, welcome to uh, a Stitch Up Adventure, Planet Coaster, uh, the third episode in the series, a Stitch Up Adventure. Um, and uh, so we're in Planet Coaster, and um, now in the second episode, we created uh, things like this statue, um, and uh, we did we set out exactly where our staff path um, staff, um, oh sorry, our um, food vendors were going to be. So roughly around here, going to come back. That's going to be a whole sort of temple thing. Um, remember, we've got our waterfall marked out from episode two, so that will be ready to create. And then across here, we've got our focal point, our basic riverboat ride, which will um, expand and change as we fill it in. And um, we've got that sitting on test mode. And these guests are all seem to be relatively happy. Um, oh, looks like we need janitors. Um, uh, I think we've put in a few janitors, but they've managed to uh, quit. Um, so, you know, in sandbox mode, and we don't expect things like this to be happening, but I guess they are. Um, so something I am going to do, as I'm not the fastest planet coaster builder, one thing I will be doing is in between, until I get a bit quicker, um, is in between episodes, um, I'll be filling out what we've already done. So in the episode, the last episode, we sort of laid out where these bamboo forests were and episode one and two, we filled them out. Um, where uh, in between the episodes, I'll come in and, and actually just go and fill it out a little bit more. Same with this little tropical bend around here. Um, this was nowhere near as full. It had about 10 plants in it. It's probably now got about 40 or 50 or maybe even more. So um, I'll be just doing little cosmetic changes, um, nothing massive. Um, so I thought this episode we could maybe lay out where we've got the, um, the beach area here. Um, and what the idea I want is um, I'm hoping we can have this as a bit of a settlement. Um, a little bit like this has already been explored, but around the corner where the boat ride is, that's what's um, left to be explored. And this is basically a jump off point. Um, not where the guests will board, but a bit of a focal point for the, um, for the guests to look at along here. Um, eventually I'll have to have it walled off, but we'll sort of see how that all goes. So um, if I go to uh, make sure we've got the adventure pack, yep. Um, and if I go along here and um, have a look at what else is in the adventure pack. Um, the aeroplane is massive, so I probably don't want the aeroplane just yet. I'll find another point part to have the aeroplane. I did want it to be um, the aeroplane in there, but I think it's best to probably just have um, We'll use that in another spot where it doesn't look so big. So when we have a look at the plane here, it's just too big. There it is there. Yeah, look at the size of it. It's just way too big. Um, it fits in there nicely, but I do, um, when I put the plane down, I also want to be able to have um, some spots where it looks like it's landed. So I'll do a bit of ter um, terrain painting and editing so it does look like the skid is there from the, from the plane. Um, all right, but what we might be able to do is have some aeroplane parts sitting in there. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that after we've set out a bit of a settlement. So um, now if I have a look down here, yes, I might have a look now. There's a steamboat. Um, what I might do is put a steamboat sort of here um, like it's been pulled up onto the beach. So I kind of just need a fairly shallow area. If I just go to X on that one, um, we don't want it to look like it's sunk down too much, as in sunk into the water. The water's coming onto the back of it a little bit. That's not too bad. I wonder if maybe I could just rotate it with the red, so it's a little bit more like that. I think that kind of works. And that's going to look like a boat that's been, um, that's been put there. So I'm happy with that. It's just been pulled up out of the water. I think that's nice. Um, so we've got these Land Rovers, are they, or cars, uh, off-road vehicle and an off-road vehicle wheel. Um, and then we've got um, a truck chassis. And these, is, um, I think we kind of put that all together. Um, well, let's just start off with an off-road vehicle and we'll pop some wheels onto it at some point. Um, but we can make it look like it's sort of just, just there. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming that that exact placement is pretty good for once you get the wheels on it, um, but we'll have a look. We do not know if that's the case. Um, all right, I'm going to do this as separate pieces of scenery, so I might come to regret that, um, but let's see. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's bang on actually. That is pretty good. So we could do one there. And we might have to just we'll X this one because we might just go and have a look at him. Yeah, from above. He needs to go in a little bit. And be hanging out about the same as the other one. Yeah. Okay, lesson learnt. So I think what I'll do is delete the whole thing, go to building, custom, pop down a castle arch support. No, we want something a lot smaller. Um, what do I want? Walls, castle arch support. I want uh, columns, and I want something kind of grid, and I want something really small. So we're looking at that, is that it? Four meters, four meters, four meters. Yeah, I think that's, that'll do for the moment. Um, so if I go X and pop him all the way down like that and put him there. And now actually go to scenery while he's selected and I should be able to now go back and find my car again. Whoop. That's it. And I wonder if we can put one of the wheels right there. Um, so at least then we can, it'll be part of it. Uh, oh yeah. I'll try dropping him a tiny bit. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it as it is. And I'm then gonna pop the Make sure the building's still selected. So I think I'm, I think I'm good to go. Again, I'm learning how all this goes, so we'll see. But the idea here is, when he doesn't touch the ground, um, we'll then be able to go and um, move the whole car down and everything will move, including the wheels. That's my theory. Is my building still selected? Yes. Uh, this one will X. We'll jump in. Yep, and same deal, we'll exit. I think that's pretty good though. Those front ones seem to lock in nicely. And building still selected, jumps in. X here, pops it in. Ooh, is that clipping? That is clipping a bit. Yeah, it's better. You want a bit of a gap there on those lovely old cars. Um, hang on, it's hanging out a little bit. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, and that side's pretty good, actually. Um, that wheel's a bit crappy, but uh, do we fix it? Yep, if I go X, I should be able to just drop it down a tiny bit and put it more of a gap there. And go like that. And now if I go to off-road vehicle is selected, I go, he's now selected and I go advanced move. The whole thing, ah, oh, I was hoping the whole thing, including the wheels would move. Oh, what am I doing wrong here? Um, well, are these guys actually touching the ground? No, they're not. Oh man. Okay, I'm going to ooh, tell you what I'll do. All right, I'm gonna leave that. In between the next episode, I'm gonna work on that and work out what I did wrong and see what I need to do uh, in order to in order to fix it. Um, I mean, I could probably just eyeball it from here and just sort of fix it up, but in fact, I will do that. Just bear with me. And let's go down a tiny bit, yeah. And maybe I'll just go down here as well. Until he touches the ground. Yeah, and... This is going to be a bit wonky once the car gets in there, but that's not bad. Um, and drop them, just drop the whole thing down a tiny bit. How's that looking? It's not bad. Uh, this one clips out a little bit too, but we'll just go with that. Good. Oh, zooming. Zooming fast. We don't want that. Oh, man. Um...
I don't know if that's a bug, but it seems to, the scrolling seems to zoom a bit too ridiculously. Anyway, let's just go with that. Um, all right, that's pretty good. Uh, now if I go to scenery and I'll put in a, um, a little digging man. Might get the two digging men and we'll get them sort of digging. Um, I wonder if we can get him digging so he's trying to get the, the wheel out. Or should we get them digging something together? Um, what do we do? What if we put him here? He's trying to dig out the the wheel of the car. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, let's have a look here. So what's he doing? He's digging that way. We need him to be... Yeah, he's digging there. We'll just spin him with the green a bit. So he's kind of... It's like he's digging under the wheel there. That kind of works. And then this guy here is sort of helping by... Swinging the axe. That kind of works. Yeah, I like that. Bit of animation. These guys are... Going all right? Okay. Um, all right, now we'll go and see if we can find the campfire. Let me just pop in before we do that. Maybe a petrol can. Uh, here, face it towards the guest though. So we'll go there for the petrol can. And we'll go here with a pan. And I reckon another pan leaning up against that pan might be good. So if we can go here, tilt her up, and like that. Yeah, two pans. I think that kind of works. Um, and as well, what other stuff could there be that looks a bit... Ah, oh, scaffolding. Definitely some scaffolding. Um... This no, we don't want random scaffolding though. There's got to be a reason why we'd have the scaffolding there. About a wicker basket, a uh, single truck wheel. Um, what you might be able to do though is have uh, no, not those, not those, but we might be able to have a, a spare wheel here. Oh, how about on the Jeep on the bonnet? Yeah, let's pop him right in the middle there. Just for a bit more detail. Yeah, happy with that. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, let's just bring that one up. You want him usually sitting right up on it. And they're normally sitting right in the middle as well. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so if we go to scenery now and we want to untick the adventure and we want to do camp. I'm hoping there was a, yeah, there was a campsite and a campfire. So let's have a look at the initial campsite. And drop this down. Uh, ooh, what's happening there? We'll need a focal point facing forwards. So if I go like that, it kind of works. I think that's good. Yeah, that's nice. And just go back to the other scenery bit and we'll go more filters. Mm. Uh, not those ones. If I go scenery theme and it was western, we can see what other stuff was kind of here and suits this, this part. Um, The water tower might be good because the idea is that it is uh, they have settled the area and they've been here for a bit um, so we possibly could do that hmm. are these crates yeah these crates are really good for explorers yeah that's good okay we want lots of crates okay let's put some crates in here in fact oh here's an idea 
Here is an idea. What about if we did? What about if we did a whole lot of crates as the fence? Hmm. We might just do it like this. Oop. Okay, let's see. And then to break it up, because those those are going to make it look... No, they just kind of look silly all joined together. Um, Alright, what we might do is... Delete, delete those. Um, delete that as well, we don't want that. Okay, let's just put a few crates around here like it was a of a storage area. So if we put um, some big crates around the edge. Yeah. And another crate kind of bit of an angle. Some little ones. Maybe stacked up. Hmm. On top of each other like that. Yep. Um, just might just change this one to that. And we've got this interesting little bit here. We're going to have to fix that. Um, but I might do some fencing in between the episode. I might pop some low fencing along here and fix this little bit of terrain here. Um, again, I think I'll need to work off camera just on that little bit. Um, but again, again, it's a little focal point, uh, and you can sort of see uh, what's happening. Um, I'm actually thinking that the boat can come round. In fact, let's do that. Let's get the boat to actually venture into the into here, and we might be able to time it so they go very close to each other, but ne never really hit each other. So, shall we edit the track on that one? Close, edit track. Yeah. And here we go. So we want it to go this bit deletes. And now from here, we'll. All right. So from here on in. We need it to curve around. And we might see if they can head fairly close to the left hand. We'll see how much the boat almost clips that wall, but it would be nice, good if the guests sort of thought they were going to hit it. I think that would work. And from here on in, we need a, a nice circle. Um, so, can I make it any smaller? No, I can't. Let's see if we can clip that left wall a little bit. Yeah. And this is where we're going to see if we can actually curve it around. Might need to fix that terrain bit over there. Um, but I think that's going to curve around nicely. Uh, yeah, this is going to work. Yeah, maybe with this. And we want to eventually get the timing right so that the boats go close to each other, but don't actually hit each other. And depending on how they go, um, they sort of always clear because the passage always has one boat crossing at a time. So that'll be a timing thing, and we'll um, we'll see how that that sort of ends up. Um, ooh, a nice little bend here might be good. And we do want it to join to that, but not like that. So if I go here, back. And then I swing this one out just a bit more. Let's see if we can't. Um, see if this can't join up to there. And that's it. Okay. Uh, we might just, yeah, we might see if the boat can now get testing. Boat ride, if we go done and opened 
Okay, we'll have a look how that goes when the boat gets round. So he's going to basically come around to here, um, and he might come into the little thing and into the little outlet and have a look. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, we'll now have a look at. Um, uh, let's see what else we want to do here. Um, so I was thinking as well. Um, let's. Let's have a go at creating, what else can we create? We've got a little settlement there. Um, this here, I think we need something for them to look at as they, they get here. This will be the first focal point. There'll be, I mean, you'll get off here and you'll have, you'll get onto the boat and you'll have a uh, hippopotamus and a big waterfall. And then you'll go under the bridge um, and then I think you'll have this sort of area here. So I think we can probably make that a bit beachy as well, actually. Um, and maybe, hmm, maybe what we could do is if I just make this rock, make it a bit more rocky as opposed to beachy. Do you want beachy or rocky? Hmm, that kind of worked. I kind of, no, we want it, we want it beachy. But let's, let's go for a different sand then. I think the, the beach part works um, against the bamboo nicely. Um, but what I was thinking is if that's not too shallow, we could possibly have a... Uh, take the western off property, go to... Um, oh, hang on, content pack. Goes to adventure, and we'll be looking at putting in some crocodiles. So we'd be looking at a small crocodile, um, and possibly one that's just just there. Uh, crocodile small. I think just here, so he's poking his head out just a tiny little bit. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Um, Mm, that's not bad. Yeah, I might just get down closer to the water and we'll see how that looks. But let me just see if I can spin him around a tiny bit more and put him up. Um, put the X on and I'll go down and have a look. Oh, no, he's not even visible at the moment. Um, slide him up the beach a little bit. Ooh. Here's the boat going around too. Okay, let's plonk him. So you sort of have a look there. Jump on the boat and just see if we can. So, will he be visible? Yeah, he's just kind of there. That kind of works. Um, this person's sitting in the boat, but they're facing that side. We want them to face the other side. Don't we? Okay, well, we can look towards the front of the boat. And we get around and see the sediment from the other side. And it's not too bad because there's kind of your bamboo forest here, you can sort of see guests walking on the other side of the, that as well, the other side of that um, fence. Yeah, we need a few more tiki lanterns. And then, I think that kind of works. Let's kind of look at that then. The boat's coming out, getting ready to come back out. I think that kind of works, depending on how the boats are going to be. Yeah, I like that. Okay, um, so crocodile there was good. I think we need a second crocodile though. Let's go and do that. Another one in. Maybe one up on the, another small crocodile, but definitely up on the, um, what's this one, is he swimming? Yeah, we don't want that, swim attack, no. Snapping. We get him so he jumps, he sort of snaps out. Ooh, I wonder if we could make it so it snaps at the boat. Um, let me see, facing this way, so if we make him here. Uh, and then go X, X, and now spin him with the red, so he's snapping upwards. Uh, spin him so he snaps up a bit. There's his tail. Um, yeah, that's not bad. And then if I bring him up, 
towards the boat a little bit and drop him back a bit. Does he splash out of the water? Yeah, he does. That might work. Let's leave him there for a bit and see how he goes. Yeah, if you're in the boat. Right camera. Um, can we turn around? Can we turn around? Oh, I can't turn the face the other way. Uh, sort of facing the wrong way. Okay, that's interesting because that, that boat had a lot of people in it and we still had the ride camera facing the other direction. So I wonder if, ooh, actually, if we go ride camera and change the interest. No. Nope. Change the seat. Okay, let's just leave that. Okay, a couple of crocodiles there, and we might be able to do something more with that. Have a few more crocodiles sitting on there. So a few more focal things uh, for people to see, and uh, a little island here as well. Um, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, okay, so I think what we might do now is let's, let's think about what we're gonna do here. Um, we really need a temple, I think a big temple here on this island that we can then go ahead and um, have people walk through. So do I want to just make a temple straight up? Um, how am I going to do this? Hmm. Might have to have a look at, a temp at the temples. Um, tell you what we'll do, we'll begin the waterfall um, and then um, Actually, what we might do is we might leave this episode here. In the next episode, we'll get the waterfall going um, and we'll possibly look at starting the temples and doing a bit more of the fencing along here. Thanks for joining us. Hit the like button if you uh, appreciated that one. Um, definitely subscribe. Um, spread the news about the channel. It's brand new and uh, I'm trying to get a bit of traction. Um, just to let you know, I'll also be doing a uh, airport CEO series um, in parallel with this one. So that's um, that'll be look for those ones. They'll be up line in the next week or so. Uh, have a good day and catch you in the next one. Bye.